All right, kids, we are live, and I'm going to be streaming today and the next three days, four days in all, for the iStencils.com sale. Um, here's the particulars. Start off right off the bat with that. Um, it's iStencils.com. The coupon code is SAVE25, and that gives you 25% off the entire iStencil site, no matter the brand. The stale, sale starts uh, started today and will end Sunday, the 7th of June, 2020 at midnight Eastern. Um, you get a free stencil with an order of $50 and it's this one this time. It's one of the, what do they call it? Fragmented heart, I think. Um, and if your order is over $50 and you're in the U.S., you get free shipping, which is a standard policy for eye stencils. So, hey, Zandra. So those are the particulars. I'll leave this set out somewhere. I'll show you what I have. Now, this is different from most of the sales because I usually do a sale when either Joan Smithies or myself have new designs. And there's Joan Smithy now in chat. Um, we don't this time. Joan's been designing like crazy. But with the virus, um, eye stencils, designers um, are more working from home and don't have um, access to of the equipment that they need to program and design the, um, the stencils. So, hey, Aline. So, um, I wanted to do this in an effort to try to keep her crew employed and give them some orders uh, during this time, especially. And Sherry's offering the 25% and the freebies like she always does to the customers. So, let's get her going. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, I'm going to open these up. Um, this is the freebie. I'm going to let this sit right here in my in front of my schnoz. I showed these on my channel, um, I don't know, a week or so ago when they came in. I'm going to be showing a lot of badass designs. I love them. Everybody loves them, I think. And I got some different ones here to show. Um, and I also have some of KP, Kristen Powers. KP owns Rubber Moon Stamps. She produces my red rubber stamps. Um, she's also a designer at iStencils.com. And she has her own line called Moon and the Maker. So I'm going to be showing some of hers. I asked her about it and she said, yes, please do. So uh, we're going to go through and I'll mix mine and Jones in as well. So who else we have here? Christy. Hey, Paula. Is that Micah? Welcome, Mika. Welcome, everybody. So let's get going with these. These badass ones are cool. They have a lot. She's got a lot of different styles on the website. They have, and I'll show you different some of the different ones. Um, this is the full size collection. And they really are called badass stencils for those of you who just think I'm being crass. Hey, Eminem. Hey, Jackie. Trina. Welcome, everybody. So I'll take these out and show them. This one's called Waves. And you know what? It's funny. I have a rubber stamp about. I don't know, a third of the size. It looks very similar to that pattern, and it's a really deep etch stamps that I use. I like to use it on my polymer clay tiles when I do them. But that one's pretty. And see how the ends, the top, are different waves, and the bottom are different waves. So she makes use of the whole piece of mylar, not just the center design. So I think that's really cool with the way she designs them. Now let me put this down here. I got the fan on down here. It's, it's a little, it's a little stuffy, and we're expecting thunderstorms. So if all of a sudden, you hear a big bang, and it goes dark. You know what happened here. Trina. Hello, dear. Hey, Tara. Um, this one, I just thought this one was really cute. Um, look at all these. This looks like one of those two for things where you can stamp or stencil whatever color in this. Um, turn this other light on. This other hole here, the circle. And then overlay it with any of these designs in another color. We'll play with that. But I thought that was cool. So this one, where's the names? This one is called Technosphere. This first one was called Waves, I believe. Waves. Waves. Ha, ah, how clever. All right, let me not crowd myself in. Need a little elbow room. Yeah, the circles are really cool. 
This one is called Romance. Come on, Mama, get out of there. Got some pointy ends on here. Oh, I see a little one that didn't pop out. Um, look at that one. How pretty and lacy that is. Now, with these fine holes through here, you might have trouble if you want to pick this up on a piece of cardstock. Hey, Jam. Or heavier paper, watercolor paper, because you got to push the paper down so it touches in all these holes. And it might not do that with the heavier papers, as fine as these are. But with deli, or if you're going to pounce paint through them, spectacular. But here again, using the outside edges, so it's not just a square. You kind of get a little infinity going on there. This, I love this one. This one is called uh, something. And for, oh, lucky people, four days of May. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, hello. Doppelganger. Guess why? One side looks like the other. How clever. Right? Look at that. That's really cute. Really cute. Love this one. I can, you know how I like to put my half circles inside of a journal page? Look how cool that would be. So one, another tip, and I always tell you guys this, you're probably sick of hearing me, but it's, it's really a helpful tip. When you're shopping, hey, Belinda, when you're shopping at iStencils.com, they have close to 4,000, if not over 4,000 different designs. Um, if you see something you like or you have any interest in at all, put it in your cart. You can always take it out later, but finding it is like a needle in a haystack, depending on how drilled down into the menus you get. Um, look at this one. This one's awesome. This is called Enchanting. Kind of like reminds you of me. So you'll that'll be an easy name to remember. <laughs> oh, just ask my husband. Bless his heart. This one is called Infinitude. Kind of at a glance reminds me of a rage. Um, hey, Laura Lou. Oh, thanks for the link, Z. That's the link for eye stencils. It's easy one. iStencils.com. The letter I, not the, not like eyeball. <laughs> this one. It's called Fancy Pants, and it's got all kind of little squirrely gigs. All the edges have different designs and swoops and swirls and Z I can see you using this kind of wavy in here and little border bits in here. I mean that's really a lot of a lot of angles there going on. And this one is called vintage like a vintage lace. And you could if you wanted to um, cut this off. Once you own the stencil. So you didn't have that in the way that it's going to like. If you put a piece of paper down to print over that. And you get that plane that doesn't print anything. If you want it to kind of look like an infinity lace thing. You could easily cut that off. I know Xander cut some of her um, stencils off like that. For when she's using spray inks. Through her some of her Jane Davenport lessons that she's done. But that one's called Vintage. This one's cool. And actually after I got this one. Sinwin. Hi, I don't know how to say your name, but hello, dear. Welcome. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Shauna. Um, I think I have this one now that I am holding it in my hands, but you know, what are you going to do? And this one doesn't have a name on it. It's got a number. SFBA 4005. SF Badass. What's SF? Stencil Full Badass because the other ones are called full size. I don't know. But anyway, it's cool circles. I love me some circles. This one is called a BAM Pax. So this is a BAM. These little ones, right? This is what she calls her BAMs. Let me do this. Oop. I don't think it's possible to have too many circles. 
Oh, Trina. I'm, I asked for this one because I like these gradient circles and more to just add a little something to a journal page by pouncing some paint through it or scraping some paint through it. But this is called a, a BAM. And I, I think it, I think BAM is badass mini, I think. Um, but then she came out with these BAM packs, right? And it's five of the minis that have a theme. And this one is tribal. So I had to have that one. Bam packs tribals. And you just, you need to take a pair of scissors and nip this mylar. I mean, it looks like a hair, but I'm telling you, this mylar is thicker than a lot of stencils. And you don't want to try to tear it because you could ruin the stencil. And it only takes a second to go through here and pop off these little connections. And get your bam separated. But I love these little tribal marks. And when I saw, when I started buying all my, hoarding my bits that I need to start doing foiling uh, with the minks and the Tim Holtz kind of stuff, I blame Xandra almost 100% for that. And when I don't blame Xandra, I blame Jackie <laughs> for sending me some. <laughs> oh. And then I blame Tim Holtz and Heidi Swap. So Heidi Swap, if you haven't seen her video with Tim Holtz on her Instagram page and you like gold foil and even better if you have a mink or a laminator, you should go see it. Pretty spectacular ideas. I'm telling you, Tim is like a mastermind for, for pushing a product and finding out what else it will do and other ways to use it. Really cool stuff. I'm going to be doing that. But I gotta I gotta do this concentrate on my next streams for the sale. For now. Hey Amalia. Linda, who came in? Oh hey Linda. There you are. CB. It's about time you got your little butt here. How's uh, how's Wit doing? CB's husband had surgery recently. And Kathy Seek, hello, dear. And uh, Jackie, did your windows get finished? Or did you say that was going to be another day of working on those? Kath Jackie was getting some new uh, windows in her apartment. And ran her out of her art room. <laughs> How rude. All right, I'm going to let these sit up here so I can find them. I guess if you really wanted to, you could use this as a mask. Sandra. Look how 3D these mermaids look. So this one is called one of the Triple Threat. She's got a series called Triple Threat. And they are, um, this one's called Merfolk. Like mermaid, mer, merman, merfolk. Right? But look how 3D the, the scales look. They. Oh my goodness. Hey, Diane. Um, so here you got a BAM, a mini BAM, and this full-size one. So I'm going to cut this apart while, I'm, while I got my scissors out here and I'm cutting. This one looks really interesting. And I purposely didn't do this. I know I'm going to get a comment saying, why don't you prepare more and have your stencils ready? Because I want you to see what's needed to use them and how to do it and why to do it. So let me take that. Let me help you with an answer before you leave a comment. <laughs> Although you're welcome to leave a comment. I'm just saying. I'm hoping, I'm only going to mention this once because I want this to be a happy escape kind of a stream. But with all that's going on in the world, I hope we see less people taking the time for no other reason but then to leave a really nasty, shitty comment on some of our streams, the people that do this for free. <laughs> um, that's all I'm saying. 
I'm done. Okay, so now let's buzz through. Um, I got a lot of a lot of KP stencils. I had a bunch. <laughs> All right, Paula. You get a. I just throw away my piece of black. I'll just grab a piece of black paper. I love this one. This is one of KP's. Kind of goes with that tribal thing. Um, and this one is called Trinity. It's a five by seven with like goddess figures of that. I can see some of those in bronze coming up. And this is another, um, this is one of the eye stencils brand. Um, they have numbers. So if anybody's interested, let me know the number. I'll come back to it when I use it. But this is one of the repeatables. See where the pattern is outlined here and etched where you can go back and lay if you're doing a wall or something big. I want the completed pattern all over fabric or whatever. You can go back in and line this up and just keep the pattern repeating. And it says re stencil repeat. And when you buy these, these, um, they're squares. Um, this one is 11 by 11 because I'm going to, I was going to use it mostly on my 11 by 18. Um, oh, shit, 11 by 18. What the hell am I talking about? Eight by 10 jelly plate. <laughs> and, um, Uh, so I got the 11 by 11, but they make them smaller and they make them much bigger. So when you go to order the eye stencil ones, be mindful of the size and how you want to use it because you can make, you can make your life much better if you get the right size. Linda, I'm obsessed with collecting stencils. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, you are Linda, but you know, aren't we all? I think this one's cool. This one's by KP. This one's called Paper Lanterns. And if you like the circles, they don't necessarily have to be paper lanterns, but you can see that they are. And that one's really cool. Mama like that one. Oh, this is another one I got. That's one of the, um, it's a repeatable. But look at that design. It's kind of like, woohoo. You're freaking me out, man. Look at that, baby. Mommy like that. And this one, Jackie, you'll like this. I'm sure others will too, but I know Jackie likes that tribal flair. But look at this one with these little little streaks, little dashes, and it's repeatable. So you can line that up and make it all over everything. So let's get the KPs. I'm going to show you the bigger ones first because I think I have the same things. I don't know if I do or not. We'll just we'll just plow on, shall we? So here are the um, particulars that you need to know about the sale. Um, iStencils.com. Coupon is save 25 for 25% 25 off the entire site, no matter whose brand it is. The sale dates are today through Sunday, June 7th, midnight at Eastern time. And that's 2020 for those who watch this five years down the road and want to know why their coupon's not working. <laughs> hey, Belinda. Um, you get a free stencil, which is this one, with orders of $50 or more. It's a, I think they call it a fragmented or faceted heart. I don't know. Um, if you're in the U.S., the shipping policy is always free shipping for orders over 50 So I'm going to leave that sit here. And who walked in here? Front door, I think, right? Front door photo. Hello, dear. Hey, Tamara. Hey, Joyce. So let's get to Kristen's. I always call her KP. I never call her Kristen. That sounds very formal. <laughs> She's a lovely person. I don't know if you've ever met her in person. This is KP. I've met her in person a few times that she's been to the Queen's Inc. and had dinner and, and hung out a little bit. So some of her stencils have a um, planner kind of a theme or use to them. Hey, Dot. Um... Hey, Terry. So, as you can see, this grid would give you uh, Monday through Sunday uh, blocks, right? What's this one called? Oh, there it is. Nope. This one's called Canyon. Oh, yeah, it looks like the Red Rocks out in, Cal out in Colorado or Arizona or anywhere Red Rocks are. 
beautiful. We'll have to do that with some uh, clay colored um, and then hit it on a blue, like print something blue first. And then I got it in my head. I know what I'm saying. Even if it's hard to decipher, which my head usually is. This one's cute. Got the waves, the beach, the mountains, the sun. And this one is called, and these are under Kristen's, uh, I don't know if she's just KP. I think she's KP on the website. And it's not just the letters KP. It's K-A-E-P-E-A, -E -E like you're spelling the letters. Celestial C. Cute. Why am I putting these here? I'm going to put all the other ones over here. Hello. Um, this one's called Centered. Another kind of graphic organic circle. And this one looks like a frame. It is. Fabergé frame for the egg. The egg frame. Um, somebody's moving. Who's moving, Z? Uh, boho backdrop. That's kind of a tribal vibe. Cute. And this one, what is this called? Gratitude. So I think this is like a frame. Some of hers are like frames. So you'd get the corners here and the gratitude and then have this all this open for like journaling space. Hey, April. This one is, oh, here's another one. It's like, oh, I like this one. What is this? I like you. Head in the clouds. That's another frame with some space in the middle for whatever other art that you're trying to frame up or journaling. I like that. That'd be a cute pop of black around something that's really kind of busy. Hearts and ribbons. Good Lord, I have enough of them here. <laughs> uh, what are you called? Another... Ode to Muir, M-U-I-R. I don't know how to say that. That's not good. Kind of a landscape, the Queens. Oh, yeah, the Queens, Inc. they're moving kind of across the hall. You know when you go out the back door um, and go hang a left and go down to the restrooms? Um, the shop right across the hall from them um, where they had that. It was a really high-end pottery shop that was in there. Um, and they're moving into that space. Open book. Paula, you like that one. Open book. Cute. Oh, wait a minute. I got another one. <laughs> this one is called Sky and Wind. Very cute. They all have her KP vibe to them. You can, you can tell if you know her work. I like celestial stuff, so I like this little guy here. And he is called Sun Showers. Oh, I get it. There's the sun and it's raining. I get it. Got to get up pretty early to fool me, people. <laughs> That's a lie. Text boxes. That'd be a kind of a cool pop of black on something. Or even for little little journaling spots called text boxes. Right? So be th the mountains are calling. Another landscape. Which this would really look cool if you had a really um, kind of a gradient um, print that was kind of busy in the back that went from greens, darker greens, up to blues. Um, 
and then pop this over top of it with black. That's what I'm talking about. And this one, oh, the tribal girls are going to love this. Tree farm, it's called. Like pine trees, but I see tribal triangles. Anybody can see whatever they want to see. I get so tickled, especially Cece, when she uses my stencils. She will use it and make something that I never, ever would have thought of before. And it, it's like, how did I not see that? Hey, Susan. This one is called Night and Day. With the moon and the sun. Do you see? Oh, cactus. I like cactus. Cacti. And it's called, wait for it, cactus. Okay, now these, I'm going to kind of flip through these and see if they're just smaller versions. They're five by seven. So those of you that use a five by seven plate a lot, um, no, these are different. I don't have that one. Whimsy Lace. Oh, no, these are different. These are just different. Um, it says you be me, but that's what it's called. But you can use, you know, love you, um, create. You can you can make different little phrases or use the word singul singularly. This one's called Specs. These are all different. Yin Yang Moon. Oh, I like that one. I like the Yin Yang. Yin Yang. Kathy Arbor. Hello, dear. Hey, Colleen. Oh, you have these. Good for you. Where there is rain. Sweetheart Banner. That's cute. Superstar. That really is called Superstar. Not just me breaking away from reality. Rainbow Dream. That actually says Dream down here. Pyramids. Those are kind of 3D looking. They're cool. Love me a 3D stencil. Positively perfect for you cat lovers. Out of this world. Little Martian and his Martian. It's uh, KP. The Moon and the Maker by KP. K-A-E-P-E-A. -E -E like you're spelling the letters. I love this one. Who was it? Was it Colleen? Was it you that likes the Egyptian, all the Egyptian stuff? Am I remembering that right? Somebody was cuckoo about Egyptian stuff. I don't remember who it was. But there you go. Eye of Horus. There are a lot of these. Feeling the love. Feline the love. Hi, Devin. This one's called Happy Day. Any day with cake is a happy day in my book. Which is very... Specifically evidenced by the size of my arse. Um, hieroglyphics. Oh, I like that. Let's put that out to the side. Linda Whitehead used to like Egypt. Mm, I can't remember. Leaf drops. Not that I don't believe you, but I mean who I remember always talking about. Egyptian stuff. And they were talking about it. When I was back, when I was in my polymer clay tile frenzy, one of them, I've had a few of those, <laughs> but somebody liked the Egyptian stamps that I had and was like crazy about them. Doodle bunting, like the banners, little flags. Oh, I like this one. Dream catcher. It's called catch a dream. This one is big hearted. That's cute. 
Monday to Sunday. So here's another version of a journaling type stencil um, for a different size journal. It's a five by seven one. This one is called, oh, now there's individual days. There's Saturday. Friday. It's always a fun day. Hey, Vicki. Thursday. Wednesday. And little borders everywhere and the little boxes. Tuesday. Monday. Sunday. And now here's the months. So these are a lot in her uh, the journaling series. Numbers. And this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's little faces. That might be handy for you, Z, when you make your little your little girls or your mermaids. So, good Lord, that was a lot of stencils. Okay. Where to begin? All right, if anybody wants to see anything particular, throw her out there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to start from where we began. Um, and as we go, I'll pull some of mine and Joan's out to kind of mingle with these. Get a handful of these bad boys. Oh my gosh. Right. And there we go. Oh, Lord. I'm just going to grab a clump of these. Put these smaller ones over here. And, ha! Huh. All right, let's see what we got. Move my scissors. Now my fan's going to blow up my paper all the time, so, but that's okay. What is the name of the stencil with dashes? This one, Jackie, I assume you mean? This is an eye stencil, repeatable. And the number is 27-00050RSC. Let's see if I can make you see. Maybe try to grab a screenshot. And when it comes into focus, I'll try to hold it. If that ever happens. <laughs> Technospheres. Okay, let's see. I know which one that one was. That was that circle with all the different designs, right? Well, where are you? Here it is. This one, Patty, and the one with the damn that's what you show before the dashes. Oh, Lord. Um, they're kind of out of order now. Let me know when you see what you're talking about there, Kathy. There's that one. Oh, that's a good, um, Tamara or Tamara, that's a good idea. That will happen for sure, but intentionally doing it is brilliant. <laughs> um, for this one, Kathy. This one was doppelganger. This one was romance. Romance. Doppelganger. This one is called Enchanting. That was Fancy Pants. I'm looking at anything that looks kind of lacy. This is probably at the last one. Vintage. 
Hey, neighbor. Getting ready to hunker down for the thunderstorms they say are coming. So I'm thinking it had to be one of those. Um, Kathy, did we hit it? Not yet. Uh, uh, well, um, that's all it would it. Well, now I'm baffled because I went through all the ones that look like sort of scrolled. All right. Oh, maybe this one. I just put it down. Good Lord. So with this lag, it's hard to tell which one you're talking about. So this one is vintage. I'm going to wait till you answer me now. Not vintage. This one is infinitude. The one with the edge of the pages, the swirly one, that's fancy pants. This one. <laughs> I'm a trying. So I'll just go through and name all of them and hopefully you'll catch it. We'll start back here and I'll put them in a clean pile. That's vintage. This one is infinitude. This one is called fancy pants. And these are all badass designs. This one is Doppelganger. It just had a number. Oh, probably. It has to be this one then. This is uh, an eye stencil. And that's the number, 05. Zero 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 three one repeatable SC. I don't know what SC means, but this is the one you got to be mindful of what size you buy. This is an eye stencil brand and it comes in a big variety of sizes. So, whoa, I'm glad we got that settled. Oh, I was losing my mind there, which happens more frequently than you might think. <laughs> okay, let us throw some paint. What time is it? 7.30, good Lord. Oh, 38 minutes. Okay, that one bad. I was thinking I got on at 6.30. I did not. Okay, 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 okay. Some of these are really tricky. They're a little sticky with the, not sticky, but the points um, get tangled easily. You just have to remember. Okay, look at this fresh... New jelly plate. It's got stuff all over it. All right. But that's okay. Nobody cares. April, my uh, other reams of paper came in today. I didn't even have a chance to look at them. I was working today and doing all kinds of stuff. So let's use this as a, like a pop of black on something. I'll put this one over on the future usage page. Um, well, I'm just going to go through and print everything. Let's just do that. Shall we? We shall. You'll have to tell me how they are. Oh, Lord, what did I just say? How what is? Xander, did you pass out on your keyboard or all those question marks mean something to me? <laughs> I'm going to have to call a friend right off the bat. You still can't get this paint from Blick. Oh, the paper. Yeah. 
Yeah, no kidding, Devin. Come on. Let's do a little gradient number here, shall we? Yeah, we shall. I need to put something here. It's going to drive me bad. It's a short trip. <laughs> Sandra's been drinking. This. Let's throw a little. I don't know. What's this? I'll throw a little bit of this up here. All right, look, one of my brayers I cleaned up. I know it says um, indefinitely unavailable. So I don't know if it is made in China or what. They have other colors available, but not, um, not this one. And it's really, I've become attached to this one. It's a really pretty transparent turquoise, really. It's called dark deep blue or deep dark blue or something like that. That strung down there. Let's get, pull that some of that down there. Make sure nothing's on fire. Speaking of which, oh, oh no! Oh my God! Xandra said the cat stepped on the keyboard and she can't get key unstuck. Oh no! <laughs> oh, bless us. Hey, Judy. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Janine. Okay, we're going to go with this one here. And this is 11 by 11, so it goes off the edges of my plate, which does not matter. That will not keep us from having a beautiful print. This is really pretty. I love any kind of a um, scroll or what are these called? Like a Florida Lee um, swirly stuff. Stencil. All I should have probably printed that on black. That would have been really pretty on black. But I can do that another day. Um... Yeah, you know, piece over here to blot upon. Flourish, thank you. I knew somebody would hit it. Leave it to CB, smarty pants. Get that cleaned off of there a little bit. Oh, look what's on there. Oh. You know what I pulled out, and I don't even know if they're any good anymore. My Luminaire fabric paints. I'm guessing you can use these on here. Then what is the name of the Nina Black cardstock you use? Um, Eclipse. It's Eclipse. It's a regular copy weight. It's not a cardstock. The the one I I like to use all the time. It's um, it's just bond paper, but it's called Eclipse Black. Get it on Amazon. So I don't even know what well, we're going to find out because I thought, hey, I have all these paints. You're welcome, Jackie. Feather Damask. What is in it? Um, Kelly, do you have any sparks? I do not have sparks. I'm just going to drop some of this on here and see what happens. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Eileen, that's kind of your color, isn't it? Green, green Eileen. Ooh, look at it. Oh, it, apparently it spreads really well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a um, 
I think it's not just metallic. I think it might have a little pigment shift in there. I'm not sure. What is this one called? No, this is just metallic olive green. I need sparks. Great. I only am spending my money this week. But I can't wait to get those, um, and I forget what the hell they're called, those cosmic shimmer things, Eileen. They look really, I, I looked at that one video, and um, I think Z said she's getting them in her shop. Let's pick it up with black, just because we can. So are sparks, is that just, um, I've, I've heard of them. I don't, I don't even know who's, who makes them. Is it um, Cosmic Shimmer Flakes? No, it's not flakes. It's called Blaze, like with a B, like fire, Blaze Gel, Blaze something. Um, Spark Finnebear, that's right. Is it just a metallic paint? Eileen, or does it have a color shift, or tell me why I need them. Be more specific. <laughs> it's really smooth, and you should see it over here, how smooth that paint is. That's nice. Oh, look at you. That's pretty. That is pretty. I'm going to put that there to keep it in my face so I can go back and maybe add pops of these around there. But i got to figure out the color. I'm not sure if I want to do black. I don't know. We shall see. I'm, I really want to try this one. Let's see if it's going to fit. Oh, no, the whole thing won't fit on my plate. I have to use my bigger plate. But this will be good for now. I'm going to go down here so I catch all of this. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, see, you're back. <laughs> hey, Gail. Good to see you in chat. <laughs> Had a uh, canine issue <laughs> with her computer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, when I say I was going to do this one, but what? I need a fantastic color to do this in. And I don't have an out. Hold on. Fantastic color. Let's go with. Put some different colors out here. Oh, that one comes up too. What's this? Tanzanite. Ooh, that might be pretty. Tanzanite. Let's mix these up. Shall we? We shall. Patty, I've been on several under another account. Oh, oh, good. I've been watching you grow your garden on Instagram. If I had to do that, I'd starve. I've tried. My thumbs are anything but green. I can tell you that. Let's mush this up a little bit, shall we? That kind of, I kind of lost the uh, green in there, unless there's some shimmer that I'm not really seeing. Ooh, look at that. Looky, looky. Let's put you right about there. And let's see what happens. But I see that your garlic all died. Oh, no. Oh, you have the vintage one? Yeah, they're, you can't go wrong with any of these badass ones. I just like saying it. <laughs> so I like to consider myself a badass on some levels. <laughs> oh. oh, look at you. But I can see this, not this particular one, but... Um, Probably the reverse of that. Maybe what's under here is what I want to 
that won't look good anymore. Let me put this on here. Actually, I'm going to put it on, on another piece of black. Love the black paper. Oh, thanks, Gail. We appreciate it. And I hope you're hope you're loving them. Vintage with alcohol inks. Through it is gorgeous. Oh, I bet it is. I lost a lot of that purple because of the shimmer in there, but look at that rascal. I could see this laying right in my journal and kind of wet cutting this around here and having that under the, under the background. Mama like. Okay, let's, um, you know what, now that you've said that, uh, hang on a second, let me try to find my UFO. Let's grab a piece of UFO. Said, somebody said alcohol inks. That quick, I forgot who it was. I was throwing a couple of badass ones when I order. Well, CB, if there ever was a badass, it's you. So that doesn't surprise me. Um, Ooh, I am really jacked up today, and I don't know why I'm so bad. It's not terrible. It's just annoying. Let's grab. Come on. Let's make it. Let's grab whatever two of these I can get out of this room. This drawer. Um, so there's alcohol inks. And let's take some the vintage stencil. Let's mess this bad boy up right off the bat, shall we? So I'm going to um, turn the fan off for one for now. Uh, I used to have a little sprayer of alcohol which actually I want to do this backing up from the desk you don't want to air alcohol airboard about the moving gale yeah we were talking about that earlier hey Virginia oh that's a weather alert severe thunderstorm warning yep again if you see a big flash you know what happens so I'm going to spray this Yupo paper with some just uh, I think it's 91 percent alcohol the only reason I'm spraying this is so that the stencil kind of sticks where I put it. So I know I'm white on white right here right now. But we're going to start throwing some random alcohol inks in the holes. And whatever happens, happens. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'd like to try to get over there. Um, I mean, they're selling some of their... Um, display they have really cool display stuff in there some vintage pieces and all sorts of cool stuff so you just want to throw this on here that's not that much of a contrast let me get a blue in here some kind of a blue a blue too light is this mermaid that's stream that'll work oh crap how the hell did that happen? Great. Ah. Of course it did that with the alcohol inks. Sweet Lord. But it's such a pretty color. That was dry and crumbly and got fragments in my Yupo. Come on. So now I'm just trying to get it. Alcohol dries pretty fast. So I'm trying to get some of this filled in before it all dries up. Um, good night. How did that leak? Maybe I'll put that one in that way. Nope, then the lid won't fit. Ugh. Oh, I didn't see any emptied in the drawer. We'll hope for the best. How about that? 
I want something to brighten it up a little bit. Lemonade, maybe? Pepsi Gala, come on. Oh, somebody's saying, where is Gala? I do not know. I did text the little group text we got going on. She's a very busy lady, you know. So this looks like it's a lot and it's going to be a mess. And it may be. I make no promises, like Oakley says. I make no promises, Mother. He doesn't really talk. I mean, in his videos. <laughs> okay. We're going to stop here before I asphyxiate myself. As I keep going. Okay. Stop. Lids. Get this out of the way. Put the lid on the right way. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Now we're going to let that, I'm going to sit it aside and we're going to let it dry. And then somebody remind me. Oh, that, that's a lot of annoying noise in the background. <laughs> and I've smurfed it. Smurfed myself. Patty makes the petroglyphs, I think, is the word. Pictographs? Is that what you're saying? What are we talking about? Drip a little blending solution or alcohol blending for contract. Oh, yeah. Rats just saw that, Trina. Pictographs. Is that what you guys are talking about? All right. I'm going to put this somewhere safe. Such a place exists down here. Somebody's got to remind me. <laughs> I'm serious about that. And we'll see what see what we get. It usually looks pretty cool. Because the alcohol under the stencil, um, it makes... Um, it makes the uh, alcohol inks run under the stencil, but it looks like watercolor. Oh, the hieroglyphs that I showed, that was KP stencil. Mine, I didn't show mine, but mine are the pictographs. They've been around for many moons. All right, let me get that out of the way. And bring back the old jelly plate. Oh, with the stencil stuck to the back of it, as you do. Okay. Ugh. Now, I know somebody wanted to see this. I don't know if this is going to look great on here or not, but let's just do this while it's in my little head because somebody asked for this. So I think, I think I'm going to have, it's going to have to be black on here, right? I mean, I, if I make it bronze, it's going to kind of blend. What do you guys think? I want like I want to do metallic, but hang on, let's see. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. My brain's kind of locked up here. What do I want to... Um, I mean, I think black's the only thing that's really going to show up. Oh, but wait a minute. But wait. How about if I do just the circles, the plain circles in black and come back with bronze through these? Ah! How about that? That's what we're going to do. What did I just say? bronze and come back with black black and come back with bronze okay i'm back Jesus, Mary Joseph. Mm. Uh, a little a little schmitzy palette here 
Where did I put on the palette papers? There they are. Oh look, big brown circle from some other some other day. All right, I need a little bit of black. And I don't need to do this all over the paper, but I will do a couple to oh, my sponges. Really? I have to put more makeup sponges over here in reach. I don't know, this one's kind of small, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to pounce some black acrylic on this little makeup sponge and pounce it off so it's not real wet. And I'm going to put it, like that was a pretty cool place where that, that's, that's pretty showing right there. But let's go like in here. Like that's, that's not too much to, well, it was right there. Let's just pounce around here and get a thin layer of black down there, right? And then we got a nice little squircle. Let's do one right here. All right, now well, let's just go for three. Why don't we? What's the name of this stencil? This one is a badass stencil called Techno Spheres. So this one you can, what I'm showing you here, you can use it any way you want. You can put the whole thing on the jelly plate and just print various circles over everything. But when I saw this, I thought if we did something solid, a lack of so, and then came back with, I need to dry that. Let me see. Let me see if I can get you guys in a little bit closer without totally... The Techno Circles is badass. And the background on here, the swirly gig, that was one of the eye stencil ones I showed. One of the repeats. That is cool when you put them through a stencil, um, Kathy. And it's funny, I used to do that just wiping, cleaning off the stencil. Um, I'll show you what Kathy's talking about. If you take a stencil that's got, you can intentionally do it with a dirty baby wipe, which I don't have, but I do have a baby wipe and I do have a dirty stencil. So what she's talking about is pulling this in towards the center of the stencil and using that paint, clean off your stencil and make another circle, right? That's what she's talking about. Okay, so that's dry enough. Let me get some bronze. Right there. And I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. So you know when you use these, you guys probably already know this, but when you use these and they're a little bit dirty, just cut some off of there. And then you got a fresh fresh edge to use. Um, so let's grab this stencil and pick out a couple different designs. So I like 3D. So I'm going to do this one with some bronze. So tapping and tapping off. And these are little holes. So you want to hold this really still and try to tap straight up and down with a not too wet sponge. And some of these holes are tiny around this upper little circle there where they come together. I schmutzed them a little bit, but not too bad. But you can see what you can do, right? What you can do, let's look at one of these. Here's some, this one's a little steampunky. Steampunky is now a new word. See, I'm not good at this. <laughs> but there are some people that are really good at it. That was too wet. 
and it schmutzed a little bit. Let's use this big honeycomb one here. Right, so there you go. That's kind of what I see happening with this one. But that's kind of cool, actually. Even though I schmutzed this one, it was too wet. See what it does? It kind of blurs. Just remember you were streaming. Hey, Linda. Hey, Libby. Hi, Shelly. Oh, a few people snuck in on me. So the new one's coming in. Here's the particulars for the sale, iStencils.com. Coupon code is SAVE25. The sale runs through Sunday night, June 7th of 2020 at, till midnight Eastern time. And you get 25% off the entire site, any brand. There's close to 4,000 designs, if not more now. Um, hey, Cher from Perth, welcome. Uh, you get a free stencil, which is this one this time. Um, with a $50 purchase and free domestic shipping on orders of $50, uh, which is always their policy. So there you go. Now, now you know. But see how cute that is? It looks, it like pushes everything in the background and they almost look 3D coming off of there. Ooh, another spooky 3D one. Mama, I like that. Yes, I do. Let's see. Um, so here, see, same thing. Wipe that off. Well, instead of being silly, I should just do it on a piece where I could use it, right? Watch, well, it's probably dried too much to really make a splash here. It'll be a real faint little whisper. Yeah, there it is. There she is. Let's put this one up here. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and just print so you can see each one. If I think something's going to look cool overlapped, I'll do that. Um, and if you want to see anything in particular, a certain way with another one to lay over it or a certain color, that, that rock you just heard falling was Gail's little stack of rocks she gave me. Um, so let's do this one. I like this. Like my crazy rib cage, infinitude, infinitude. Let's do it with some of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this one? This one looks interesting. Oh, halo blue gold. This is one of the luminaires by Jacquard. They're fabric paint, but they are smooth. Really, look at the colors. Look at the color. See the shift of the blue in there? That's gorgeous. Come here, you little rascal. Let's get you on the plate. And that may be enough because these go on like butter. Ooh, look at that. Let's throw this bad boy on here. I'm going to put that one on a piece of black paper, too. Bye, Devin. Circle stencil. Oh, thanks, Eileen. Can't find the hieroglyphics. I've searched everywhere. Who makes it? Um, Susan, if you're talking about the one I showed tonight, uh, that is a five by seven by KP on the eye stencil site. Ooh, look at you. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, you can't hate that. Looky, looky, looky at you. And now we got that beauty mess little thing. What shall I put you on? Let's 
let's just pick that up with some jelly. Patty, this paint may be close to sparks. Oh, cool thing. That's what I said, Eileen. I see a rib cage. You can pull this one out for your Halloween art. <laughs> Look at that paint changing color. It's like magic. Like a magic. Um, well, these are fun. I'm going to have to grab these more often. What's this one? This one I think was a cool color. Halo Violet Gold. We'll try that one. Yes, we will. Let's throw all these up here out of my way. Let's print. Um... See, fancy pants, I need to get out my bigger plates because not all of this is going to fit, right? We, got, we understand that, that it's not all going to fit on there because the size of it doesn't match my plate exactly. But let's just throw down. They must because I got these ooh, way back and I don't even know why. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. I never really know why. Yeah, that's cool when you already have it, Trina. Like, huh? No, 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 no. I don't have to buy it. Okay, what was I going to put on here? Oh, here it is. Sweet Moses, I already forgot. Let's pull that one on black. But that would be beautiful. Mark Rothko print with gold. Oh, I think you might have something there, April. This paint is by Jacquard. It's called Luminaire. Come on. There you go. Halo blue gold. You can see the different colors in there. How pretty is that? Da da. Hello. Thanks. Well, it's not really my stencil, although I have it and I guess I own it, but I didn't create it. This is a badass design, which are spectacular. This one's a little bit bigger than my plate, so you're not going to see the whole print, but you can see. All the little bits that are there for to use in all different kinds of ways. Like, look how this one looks like, you know, a half circle with that around it, how it comes out. And, you know, all these edges are open with different, different ways to use them. These kind of look like splashes and waves and little borders down the middle. You guys can't really see the purple in that, can you? I can see it. It's not prominent, but I can see it. I think you can too. But yeah. They don't call them badass for nothing. So let's try. I want to try this one. This one's called Waves. And let us see what we have here. Let's use this. This is pearl, oh, sweet Moses. Oh, there we go. Pearl turquoise. This one's thicker. So I don't know if this one's seen better days. Uh-oh, alcohol ink on my t-shirt. Well, this wasn't anything fancy, but... It wasn't stained up until now, so mm, there's that. Let's do 
let's throw a little bit of this in there with that to break up the color a little bit. This is a good mermaid color, Z. This halo blue gold kind of good stuff here. I'm just saying. Hey, Ray Ray. Welcome. We're going for Caribbean water here. Oh, couldn't I go for some Caribbean water? Sweet Moses. All right. This is the badass called Waves. You can see the top and the bottom edges give you wave designs as well. And I'm going to put that on black so you can really see the top. Hey, Kathy D, Glen S, Pearl Ann, Angel. Hello, welcome. Oh, I felt that that was lifting up a little bit there. So I didn't get a really clean print there. I didn't push enough. But look at those waves. I love swirls. And look at these waves, Z, how they printed. They look splashy. Isn't that cute? Cute, 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 cute. Let's try to get some of this out of here. Oh, let's do this. Let's try to clean out these holes. This is just on a piece of scrap over here. All right, now let me pull this off. Do my thorough cleaning. There you go, you've seen it here. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Angel, but thank you. <laughs> Let's go in here with a little bit of black. And something. What do I want to put in there? Let's, you know what? Let's just, for gigs, put a little schmutz of bronze in there. I don't know why. That seems really strange, but let's just do it. I'm just going to put this down here because that's too pretty to cover up with black. Although this is blacky bronze, so not so bad. Um, I forgot what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Brain locked there for a minute. Did anybody hear that? Gala. My wonderful husband is on Klondike duty. As he knows, I'm in the basement streaming. Oh, I want wild horses couldn't drag it out of me, Angel. <laughs> Miss Gala, how do you do? Let's see if this comes out. Like I, it's in my head. It's cool, but what's in my head is always cool. I got to tell you, that's the truth. <laughs> what happens here? Different story. Oh. Oh, 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 that's not at all what I thought it was going to be. But look at that blue. You can see a little bit of the green down the side here. And on certain angles, you can see that blue. Hello, lover. What a cool background that is. Just enough black in there to make it pop. Papa, Papa. I, yeah, she still is my favorite, Gala. Mm. Yeah, that's going to hold for a while, I think. Mama, love those stamps. <laughs> I've been saving it for you, Gala. I haven't said one bad word. 
Have I? I don't know. Sometimes they slip out. A little hydration. Okay, what else? While we're on that little C thing. Ah. I want you to see this one, um, Z. I want you to see it. So let's do this. Oops, hello, dominoes. Let's put a little bit of this. I'm just going to schmutz it around. Let's do a little bit of this. Probably should have done a gradient. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Um, let's do this teal. Just trying to mermaid it up a little. This one's called merfolk. So it could go either way. How politically correct of them. And this won't cover the whole plate because it is one of those three pack deals here. So let's just do this. And let's just try to get a little bit of waves in there somehow. I don't know, just because we can. Um, There's too much out there, Gala. Shouldn't take you long. What was six fifty, Riri, on uh, Amazon? Do I need it? <laughs> I'm telling you, the drivers are going to know me by name. What did you get? What did you get? Oh, you know what? I didn't bring down. A little, oh, I got some more Yamato paste that was in stock on Amazon.com. So Riri's holding out on me and not going to tell me what she got for $6.50 on Amazon. Oh, the Halo Gold. <laughs> I probably should have done that on another color. But they do look kind of 3D-ish. Where they have that their thicker line and they come down to a, a thinner line down underneath. See that underneath? Oh, look at that one. Actually, I'm going to lift that up. That one's getting kind of funky. I'm going to lift that up with Deli. Linda, $24. Are you kidding me? Oh, the thunderstorm warning. We could get the big gun. Oh, it's dark. And it's, it shouldn't be that dark yet. It's 824. It's pretty black outside. Again. Oh, big flash. You know what happened. Oh, you too, Trina. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. There you go. A little merfolk. Um, let's see. Let's do doppelganger. These. I want to do these. What time is it? 8.24. 
Oh, you know what else though I want to do? I really want to do this one. This one's been calling my name. This one? I want to see this one. So let's do a gradient with this one. But let me grab my fallow turquoise. I got the PVO. And I think I used to use copper. Did I? I think I used to use copper. It doesn't matter. But I'm just saying. So I'm going to go with the dark fallow turquoise down in this corner. Some green blue PDO Dyna. Oh, it's a huge paint booger right there. Lord have mercy. If you can only liquefy that again and use it. Come on. That's enough. And a little copper. Up here in this corner. I think that was a pretty combination. If I remember correctly, I'm going to go cattywampus here so I can get my get my angles. This is the golden fallow turquoise, which is a beauty -mous color. And then we're going to go with some PBO green blue, which brings some a little flashy metallics in there. And then a little copper action up in here. Whoa, look at that. I just lost a lot of stuff underneath of there, but it still looks pretty. Okay, so there we go. Let's put this bad boy on here, like so. <laughs> Belinda, beware. Gala is in Georgia. Don't give her too much information. <laughs> this one's going to leave as much on the plate under the stencil because of these wide lines as it does for what I'm going to pick up. I like that design. It, it's funny looking at it close up here. It just looks like a bunch of little segments. But when I look at the camera, then I can see the overall, the diamonds and the squares. It makes it look pretty cool. Cool, cool. Let me look this up. And let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, I always like that um, combo, Kathy. I'm going to clean these holes out because I think, I don't know. There we go. I think we can make that fabulous. But how? <laughs> so can I do, um, you know, this is going to be weird, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a metallic brown down there just because it's sitting here and I saw it I never use it oh and there's another Georgian another Georgia peach okay oh crap I got it in the corner of the print all right let's just get her down oh this one is not that dark crap hang on where's my really dark brown What was that one called? Espresso. This one's brown. We'll just mix them up. I don't even know if you can tell the difference. <laughs> A little bit. I 
That was way too much paint and one is gloppier than the other. So we may have your basic hot mess, but sometimes those are spectacular. So I'm trying to take some of this excess off and see the design coming through there, kind of like a patina-ish print is what I was had in my little head, which actually I have a very large head. So that's kind of a misnomer, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let's see what we get. Could be spectacular. No, it's not Renaissance. One was deco art and one was folk art. The deco was the rich espresso, the first one I put down. The one that's a little browner than that orangey bronze is called chocolate brown metallic by folk art. The Renaissance that I have is Mayan gold. Uh, I have one that's called, I have a rose gold. What's the turquoise one called? I'll tell you in a minute, it's right behind me. It's sneaking up on me. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, you can't hate that. There's a lavender looking streak down here. I don't know if I show up lavender for you guys, but it's very lavender. And I don't know what made that lavender. That was the PBO that's green blue. Interesting. I don't hate it. Do not hate it. Um, I'm probably going to have to get into KP's tomorrow because uh, it's getting a little crazy here with what I'm doing. So let's let's do this vintage. Um, you know what? I want to I want to change papers and hold onto this piece for future washi tape. I think. Um, let's. What's this one? Citrine. Uh, that stencil, Angel, is an eye stencil. And it just has a number. It's a repeatable. It's 94 dash 00095. Oop, hello. Hello. 94, we go. 94. 0, 0, 0, 0, um, Let's see. Oops. That's a little loosey-goosey. It's a little loosey-goosey, Mommy said. Muttley. Ah! Try the new paper you got today. I'm actually going to probably play, break that out tomorrow because it's not in a good place for me right now. Metallic gold. But I will. Um, I want metallic on the... Oh, you know what? Let's just do it in bronze. Where are you, bronze? Let's put a little bit of this. And maybe I'll mix in a little something. What else should I mix in there for this lace? Tapping, I'm tapping. That means I don't know what the hell I want to do. Let's do this. Just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny little bit. Five hundred sheets of onion skin. Judy, where did you get that? Who did you hold up and what are the charges? <laughs> uh. All right, this is the badass called Vintage. No, sorry. 
This one's called Romance. I have misspoken. This one's called Romance. And I think we'll do it in black. And hopefully I can get the paper in between little holes. Susan. Hey, Susan. Thrift store. Wow. That's a score. Good for you. Sounds like she went to a brick and mortar store. Vicki. Now I'm really trying to put some elbow grease. I see it's printing on some. See how the corners curl up when they get a little bit wet with paint? All right. Ha oh, ha! Oh. Look at you. Now I like totally lost the green gold. The bronze kind of took it. But it, it, you know what? It changed the bronze to more of a gold with those colors in it, actually. But look at that rascal, would you? Now, see, you can see where I missed some here. That is rather spectacular. Not sure how you get through all those. Yes, a thinner paper. Deli would have done better than this. But cardstock would not be the way to go. Unless you pounced paint through the stencil. But if you were going to try to um, pick it up with cardstock, I would say not good. From my experience. <gasps> oh, black tissue. You got that right. I know I got some somewhere. Remind me of that later or tomorrow. Um, tapping the hell out of this. Um, it's like my brain disengages. Thanks, Susan. Hang on a second. Hold the phone. Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, you know what? I just found this in a drawer. I have some of this deli that's checkered. I'm going to put something over that, see what happens. But I'm looking for black tissue paper. This is a blick one, not just a wrapping when it's called art tissue, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, this is going to be dry. I'm going to have to pick it up with something. So what do I pick it up with black on black? And then all you'll see is the gold. Does that sound reasonable? Or cray cray? Or do I pick it up with the halo blue gold? Oh, I hear thunder. Oh, spooky. Someone sent me some. I haven't used it yet. Um. Is neighbor Jean still on? Do you hear thunder? She's one street over. <laughs> I hear one. I don't know if that's Babe or Oakley. I think it's Babe. Down the bottom of the steps behind the door over here leading down the basement. You know what? I thought about that, um, April, but it goes so bronze. I don't think that would really pop. Hey, Deb. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Not a delicate sneezer. God bless me. <laughs> oh. I'm going to 
as soon as I pull this one, I'm going to go see if that's Babe. And if it is, I'm going to let her come out here with me and um, get under the table. Take cover. Wait a minute, sis. Let me come and get you. Yep, rolling through. Thank you, Amalia. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh. Oh, the cover blew off. I, you mean the storm. I thought you were being smart. Jane, my sneeze blew it off down the street. <laughs> How much is the spend for the discount? You get 25% off if you buy one stencil. That's off of everything. You get the freebie if you spend $50. But you get 25 on whatever you decide to buy or not buy. This seems really fragile. Let's see if it comes off. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, hang on. She's crying. Oh, that didn't show up very good. Wait a minute, honey. Mommy's coming. Come here. It's your first thunderstorm of the season. Come here. Mommy. Mommy protects you. Come on, baby. Oh, it's raining like crazy. It's roaring upstairs. She's hightailing it under my desk for her dog bed. <laughs> Good girl. Mommy protects you. Yeah, that's a nice bucka. That's a nice little girl. Um, So I should have probably just pulled it with black. But we'll see. There's plenty of days left to do this. Are you scared, little girl? It's all right. Let's try. Let's try. It's okay. Mommy got gotcha. you. Now she's trying to crawl on my lap. I went to reach for something. Oh, you know what? Let's do. Hey, Jim. How are you, my friend? We are under a bad, having a bad thunderstorm at the moment. So if you see a big flash and I'm gone, it's been nice knowing you guys. This is beating up on my plate. I'm going to do this. I love these little goddesses. On this, just for gigs. Let's see what, what happens. It'll either look really cool or be like, why the hell did I do that? All right. My three little goddesses. I was thinking about doing a PBO on this because with that, that um, the way it reacts, like the blue green, when you put that over black and over white, it looks completely different. So I'm going to do another one of these on the black and white check, but I don't know what, but we're going to use TBO. That's interesting. I love the stencil. Kind of framed itself because of the size, but I think the checks in that instance are a little distracting, but there are more checks where that came from. So let's try... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's pull this. Grab one of these. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Rick, Jerry. See, there's a silver lining. Eh, that didn't impress me. But I love these little goddesses. Let's see, can I print anything off on here? Is there anything left on here enough to get a print? Uh, the code is SAVE25. S-A-V-E-25. Um, okay, let's... This is pretty thin, so I wonder, um, here, let me put this, where the hell did I put it? My little information sheet, where did it go?
Here it is. Put that down there while I'm, oh, Jesus, that's a Klondike alarm. Ah. Remind my husband, bless his heart. Oh, I got to tell you guys this. Last night, 3.25 a.m. to be exact. Not that I'm, not that I'm bitter. <laughs> Our house phone rang. And, of course, I hear it first ring in, like, total panic. And it's on Dave's side of the bed. It's like, Dave, answer the phone. What? what, what? I said, answer the phone. That's the house phone, which I knew that it was my mom. Um, and uh, <laughs> Dave answers the phone. He said, babe, are you okay? Her name's Babe. And um, he said, babe, are you okay? She said, I think the front yard's on fire. Like, what the hell? I jumped out of the bed like some kind of maniac. <laughs> and uh, this is not going to be good. Long story short, the yard, thank you, was not on fire. But there was an ambulance in the driveway of a neighbor across the street and at the opposite end of the house from where my mom's room is. And the light, the lights were really bright. They really were. But they were... <laughs> They were bouncing light off of her bedroom uh, window frame that's white. And she, she thought we were going up in flames. So let's try this. This is the PBL Green Blue. And this little dashes, I think, will look cool over the checkers. And you'll see what I mean with that paint on black and the paint on white. What's this? Is the 50 before or after the discount for free shipping? Um, oh, shoot. I should know that, Bev. Um, oh, did Kathy say she was looking at an invoice? If not, I will find out for you and let you know for sure. But um, if you don't find out on the stream, hit me up on Facebook or um, Instagram, and I will find out and let you know. Then don't worry about running out of stock. They cut after the discount. Thanks, guys. Um, they cut the stencils per order. So there's not a big inventory sitting around where they'll, they might run out of stock of something that you want. So you don't have to be in a hurry to rush to try to get it tonight. You can think it over, wait until I show you more designs through the weekend, whatever, but it's not, um, Oh, cool. See how that looks. See how it's different colors on the black and white? You see the green more on the white. You see the blue more on the black. That's kind of cool. Freaking me out, man. <laughs> this would be cool to take strips of this when I do a collage for ATCs. I will be doing that. Yes, I will. I'm going to. So, let's see what else we have here. Oh, doppelganger. Let's do doppelganger. See, that's a little bit bigger than this plate. These aren't cut exactly for this plate, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's do black over this. Oops. See that purpley? color in the middle here. When it hits black, it does crazy things. Crazy, crazy things. Oh, I don't want to put that over that prettiness. Let's do... Is this what I was going to do? I believe it is. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Going to put it over Deli. Yep. 
That's why I like deli. You can really see what's where you missed and where you need to go back and give it a little schmutz. Even these really fine little designs. No, oh, you know what? I just thought about it. I haven't put any uh, leaf on my plate. The dashes, um, Joyce, is that what you're talking about? Hang on. That was 27-00050, if that's the one you're talking about. Barney Fife. <laughs> if only. <laughs> oh, God bless us. Can you guys hear the thunder? Oh, there goes another warning. What the hell's happening now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they extended it an hour. Yay. Okay, sis. Mommy's got gotcha. you. Oh, look at that. Looks like two doilies kissing. That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Mama likey. You could actually cut these apart. And put them on opposing pages with this in the binding to have them like a circle, make it a circle. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Burn? You can't hate it. You can't hate it. All right. Let's look at you. Huh. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I'm going to put this down on cool. It's not a heat gun. It is a heat gun, but it's on cold. See? Not, not hurting my hand. I'm going to get that warmed up. Almost nine. I'll call it at nine tonight. I could just keep going, but I, I told Davis, eh, I'm only going to be like an hour and a half. He doesn't really care. That we had a oh, dessert project plan. Okay. Let's go with. Can't help myself how I like my men tight and buff. Oh, did you hear that thunder? I love a thunderstorm. Sissy, not so much. It's all right, little girl. It's okay. Oh, my goodness. It's all right. Take a little bit of that off. Patty, don't forget. Oh, thanks, Eileen. See, Gala, that's why she's my favorite. I just say that to torment you. But I really mean it, Eileen. Get myself in trouble. Oh, you know what? I should have lifted it with bronze. That would have been spectacular. That's okay. We got three more days of this craziness. And then the next time I stream after the sale... I want to start messing with the, the mink and the foil and all that good stuff. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said dessert. It's more of a snack. We got these, um, and I forget the name of them, but they're supposed to be the world's best soft pretzels. I will let you know if they are or not. Okay. Now it's lifting. What I get, I don't know yet. Until I can see it in the light. Oh, look at you. The PBO just keeps giving and giving. You can't hate that, people. Where are we? Five minutes. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's, um, well, I met, I, I mushed this one up with something, so you can't really see this. Well, you can kind of see it. You can see the gold bits more than the rest of it for that one stencil. But I was going to go through the stencils that we did tonight, or the prints that we did tonight, rather. And we'll just go backwards. Here's Doppelganger. This was one of the eye stencils ones that's by, it's a number. You can scroll back and see what that was on the on the video. Here's another doppelganger print. Here's the eye stencil one with just the dashes in it that I used PB on. So I got the, the colors to shift over the black and white square. I kind of like that. I'm going to have to dig out some more of that. And this, eh, it's just, it's a lot of pretty colors on there now. Putting the one stencil over it that print took out some of that design. Um, I lost some of the definition, but that's okay. Love these goddesses. They're called Trinity. That's one of KP stencils, uh, five by sevens. And here's one of the badass ones. How cool is that? And this is that cleanup from the, um, that was another eye stencil, uh, that kind of fool your eye one there um, with a number on it. This was Merfolk down on the bottom and the waves went in where I covered the rest of it at the top. And that's another, that's the positive print. This was the negative. See the difference on black and white paper? It's the same paint. This looks more blue. This looks more greeny turquoise. Really does. It really does. This one, I really like how that came out. It's like a mirror. Isn't that awesome? That's got the wave stencil in the background. I'll have to go back and see how I did that. <laughs> and here's the waves. <coughs> Excuse me. And see how the edges of those badass stencils print too. This one was uh, the fancy pants. Fancy pants had all those different edges of all those squirrels, squirrels, swirls, and scrolls. And I tried to say that combined. And this is the one called Enchanting. That's the reverse of it. And this is Infinitude. That looks like a Eileen's rib cage to me. And that's that um, halo paint. And this is that halo paint for the negative of that, for the positive, I guess. And here's where we started. This is that Florida Lee one that, that I showed you that the, the cleanup kind of got washed out with something. And this one has the techno spheres, techno spheres. That was a badass stencil where we used used the plain circle with black and then came back with bronze and went through the designs and just threw something on top of there. Thought that was kind of cool. And here's your freebie. If you spend $50, I didn't even use this one yet, but I'm going to put it over in the stack. So I will. And here wrap up one more time. Anybody watch until the end, if they need to see that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do one more print because look at this glob of black paint right here. That would be a sin. Oh, shit. Look what I did. I put it on this. <laughs> Gosh darn it. That's even a bigger sin. Dumbass, I'm telling you. Honestly. And I don't want to hear, Gail, what it looks like. <laughs> See, there are no accidents. Sweet Moses. Why did you guys let me do that? You knew I was doing it. I knew you knew I was. <laughs> oh, sweet love and goodness. Let's just smush something in there. Let's do these bad boys. Get down there. Well, let that one. Well, that's going to have to just stay there. We're just going to have to work with that. Oh, the alcohol ink. Oh, man. Hang on. Eileen, see? 
soon as I schmutz this in, I'm going to go get it. Alcohol ink. Alcohol ink. Alcohol ink. That's how I got to remember. Pitiful yet true. All these little spirals. How cute are they? Little like grungy spirals. Um, I got my plate all schmutzed up. Hang on. I'm going to go get it right now. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. it's that too long. Sis, you want to go upstairs now, honey? You want to go for daddy? Come on. Go ahead. You want to put some more. You don't have to. Okay, so when we first started, I forget somebody who mentioned uh, that this vintage, this is why I couldn't find the vintage stencil. It's over here the whole time. Um, about how it looked pretty with alcohol inks through it. And then I remembered the alcohol ink on Yupo technique that you guys have seen me do, do before. So we did that with the vintage. And I had different colors of blues, greens, and yellow alcohol ink. I sprayed it with alcohol first and laid the stencil down so it would kind of adhere the stencil. But it also serves the purpose of having the alcohol ink kind of bleed out under the stencil. And it usually, uh, uh, air quotes, looks like watercolor. So let's do the big reveal. It's not quite dry yet, but we're going to do it. Viola. Right? Pretty cool. This has such fine lines of the stencil um, that you don't see so much of this watercolor -y look like you do up here at this end. But when you have one that's got a thick areas on the stencil, it does look really watercolory. But you can't hate it. You can try, but you can't hate it. This is now a mess, but that's the way we use our stencils. I don't think high flows are thin enough. You know, alcohol inks are like water. And they got a little bit more viscosity to them, I think, than, than water. I mean, they're thin and runny, but only one way to find out. Going to have to give her a go. All right, let me try to. Sweet Moses. Are you kidding? My brand new little acetate cover. <laughs> Ah, you can't make this up. See, it was the damn dirt. It was the damn new plate. Looks so clear, even with this over top of it. I didn't see it. If I'd have used my old munged up one, I'd have known the cover was on there. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Ay, ay, ay. See, I do this for you so you won't have this happen to yourself at home. You're welcome. Was the alcohol lace stencil on you? Yes, Colleen, it was. That's on you, Bo. You can use that Terra Skin stuff too. If you have the Terra Skin that's made out of rocks, I believe. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. okay. I'll let that sit there. And then tomorrow we'll start out with doing something with this. All right, kids. <laughs> All right, Flo. You got to you gotta be ready to take whatever comes. Who's here? Robin. Oh, hey, Robin. Did you ring my bell? They work and then they don't work. And I, I sometimes don't get, I never get hardly notifications for Xandra. Um, I do. I have been getting them for Paula. It's all. It's hit or miss. It's weird um, and frustrating. But I do post on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram when I know I'm going live. Sometimes that's 15 to minutes to a half an hour before I go live. Today it was a few hours before. Now tomorrow night I'm probably going to come on around the same time, which was 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try to stream all four days of the sale. Um, 
Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be earlier, but I don't know when uh, it is yet. Depends what's going on here and with Mumsy and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, but when I know, I'll let you know. What time Friday? Probably 6.30 or 7 p.m. again. Most likely 7 by the time I get dinner squared away. Um, that's usually a good time. But I want to do it earlier on the weekend because the uh, my uh, UK buds always get the short end of the stick when I come on late like this. So anyway, all right. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, we will pick it up tomorrow. So rack things in your cart. Don't buy them yet. They're not going to run out of stock. Make sure it's what you want. And if you decide you want to see something tomorrow in a certain color, and I'll go into more in KP's designs tomorrow, um, and we'll play. So have a good night. Thanks, guys.